What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I want to welcome you to the Loot Crate unboxing for the month of November. Uh, today, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Uh, it's a rather larger box. I mean, I think I remember, if I'm not mistaken, what the theme is. But just to be sure, let's go ahead and double check the little card that it comes with. Ooh, oh, something I already love immediately, but I won't get into it just yet. All right, so. First thing up on the agenda, let's just put that to the side, is the booklet, and this month, combat. I thought it was battle, but they already did a battle crate, so this one is combat. If we open cover to cover, I'm just going to kind of look at it myself. On this crate, or sorry, in this month, you've got various things here. Uh, obviously, one of the first things you see is a vault jumpsuit, new Coca-Cola sign, Bunch of other things as well. Kind of looks like some Borderlands type stuff. Uh, let's take a look here. Pretty damn awesome. Hopefully they stepped it up good this time. Let's just kind of go through and see what we're kind of dealing with this month. Uh, last month's folks. Epic video game rivalries. Ken and Ryu. Scorpion Sub-Zero. Mario and Bowser. Red and Blue Ash and Gary. <laughs> Loot Crate on YouTube, etc, etc. Okay. The Mega Crate this month, let's take a little look. It's worth over $2,000. One lucky winner gets a Mega Man wearable helmet, a Mega Man replica helmet with light up LED features. I already have one of those, except it doesn't light up. You remember that silver Mega Man thing? That's exactly what it looks like, except this one lights up. <laughs> Street Fighter V Collector's Edition for P PS4. Comes out February 2016. Street Fighter Ryu flashing Hadouken statue, pretty cool. Although a couple of these things they say are SDCC exclusive, but uh, I don't know about that. That's Comic Con, in case you didn't know. I'm pretty sure everybody knew that. But anyway, Street Fighter art book with original sketch, uh, Monster Hunter plushes. Okay, there's a couple of those. Uh, Games spelled with A E M. Street Fighter Five branded Vanguard unit. I'm assuming that's the fight stick, like the controller. Oh no, that's not it. I don't know what that is. Mag, this is the controller. Mad Cat, Street Fighter V Chun-Li Arcade Fight Stick Tournament Edition 2 for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. Holy crap. A selection of t-shirts, jackets, and hats from various apparel companies, not pictured. Okay, so they're just going to throw in a bunch of extra stuff. And there is 10 lucky winners. Mini Mega Crate, the Fallout 4 Limited Edition Crate. Curated collection of rare and exclusive Fallout collectibles and gear for serious fans of the Fallout series. Seven items, $150 value, currently sold out online. So you get one of those. Um, I was supposed to get one of those uh, to kind of showcase it, but my guy at, uh, my guy at uh, Loot Crate doesn't really like to answer. He hasn't replied to an email in like three months. I'm not kidding. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, and I digress. Let's get into things. Let's look a little bit further. A little article here. An interview with Kyle Cowards. Wait, is that his name? Kyle Edwards. Why did I call him Kyle Cowards? I'm sorry. All right, we'll leave that alone. And let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so there's, like I said, there's a couple of things. One of the things I saw right off the get-go that I really, really like. And I'm just going to show you right now. We have ourselves a Vault Boy bobblehead. I've been wanting one of these for a little while because I do have a bit of a, uh, of a well, ever since I got my Fallout uh, Collector's Edition, I have like a, a bit of a collectible shelf going on for Fallout now. And this was one of the things that was missing. Now you could buy your own from like almost any place that you wanted, but hell, I'm just happy I got one. This is epic. Everyone's always wanted their own little Vault Tech bobblehead. Check it out. And it actually actually shows Vault 111 on the back. Truly brilliant. He can go bobble his way over here. He's a welcome addition. <laughs> Alright, what next? We have ourselves a cute but deadly Series 1 figure uh, by Blizzard, actually. It's a Blizzard character. Or a series, or I should say. At least it's, yeah, Blizzard. I, I, is that the name of the series? Cute and deadly? Oh, yeah! Look, there's a Kerrigan. Up here, there's a Zera tool. Oh, that's so flippin' adorable. <laughs> Look at the Kerrigan and Zeratul. Where's Rainer? Oh, right on the side here. These two right here. That's Kerrigan's up top and Zeratul's down low. Isn't that hilarious? That is just adorable. That's adorability. If that's a thing, it's adorability. Alright, let's go ahead 
and uh, oh, it's got a bit of a seal. Just give me a moment while I cut this off. Let's see who I got. I'm assuming I got the Loot Crate, Loot Crate exclusive one. Wow, this thing will not let go. Is that right? Yeah, that's the only way I can go. Look at this. Don't you guys hate it when you rip the peel off or whatever? There we go. All right, I've received a couple of these blank ones before, you know what I mean, where you, you kind of open one and it's random. So I kind of, uh, this isn't my first Rodeo in terms of this, but I'm just gonna use the scissors, not muck about. There we go, get all that out of the way. All right. This thing looks like a fish. <laughs> Let's just take a look. I think this is the uh, Loot Crate exclusive Murloc. Forgive me, I don't play all of Blizzard's games. And this from like, uh, what do you call it? World of Warcraft? But I'm not sure. Actually, I don't think so. And it is adorable, this thing. We'll just pop them right next to my Vault Tech bobblehead. Well, actually, it doesn't even stand. Wow, really good job. Dude, it doesn't stand. <laughs> you are serious, right? Look, you put it down, it's too back heavy. It just falls. Unless I'm supposed to balance it somehow. What were they thinking? That's too much weight on that little plastic thing. Unless I can bend them. I can bend them a little bit. Oh, actually, I'm breaking him. I just ripped him. You know, let him fall. He doesn't even stand up. How dumb is that? All right, this... Oh, God, of course it is. <laughs> oh, man. Because awesomeness. What we have here is a shredder mask from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, except they're sunglasses. See that? So if we go ahead and take these off, this little thing, shredder shades, they call them. Ready for this? How, how do I look? Do I look like I'm ready to take on those damn turtles? <laughs> I'll try and leave these on for the remainder of this, but they kind of slide off my face. Plus, I can't really see. I'll put them on afterwards. <laughs> I can't see. You know, we'll just kind of showcase it right there for you. There you go. Perfect. All right. This here is a little pin. You know, I'm wondering if I should leave this in. The yeah, I might leave this in. Uh, this is a pin from the upcoming... Uh, Hunger Games film Mockingjay Part 2 and it's a pin of the Mockingjay. It's actually kind of nice. So just a little pin there. Nothing too special. But it's a rather large pin actually. It's about an inch wide. Maybe a little longer if you count the full wingspan of the of the Mockingjay. So that's kind of neat. We'll just pop that right there. Another thing. Well, you know what? We'll get the button out of the way. That's usually what we do. Alright. November 2015 the combat button got that uh, their bus on there the loot crate special bus I don't know if you can see it but yeah anyway that's that um, almost done here what's this the gift of geek from loot crate oh how adorable let's see what we got here what is this happy holidays looter at loot crate we try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot to someone who will love it as much as we love you. I see. So the idea is to take these tags off the back. So yeah, you could say, like see there's, it's for, you could use them as Christmas tags and you can, they come across. So you can like give your their dollar store stuff <laughs> back to your friends and family. All right, well, the gift of geek they call it. Let's go ahead and pop that there. There you go, then you can see it a little bit of an angle that way. There's no glare. All right, next item. We have more of these cute but deadly uh, characters. Looks like a magnet set, I think. Sorry, Diablo. Why was I thinking World of Warcraft? That's Diablo. This is from Diablo. That's hilarious. I don't know if I'll put all of them up there, but I think I want to throw up uh, the StarCraft one with Kerrigan. Um, it, wait a minute, is this? Oh my god, I think this is a, a Hydralisk. Dude, I think this is a Hydralisk right here. That thing is the most adorable Hydralisk I've ever seen. Right right here in the orange. Does that look like a Hydralisk to you guys? It's, it looks like a Hydralisk to me, but I'm not sure. But these things are little magnets that go up on the fridge. That is too funny. Cute but deadly little magnets for you. So that's a little cool little thing for you. Although I don't think it'll stand, so I'll just kind of 
See if it'll lean. I don't dance. I lean. That kind of works. All right. Looks like we have one more item. Oh, me just bumping it. That totally just didn't work. Come on. I hate standing things up. It just never works. You know what? Just leave it there. God. All right. We have ourselves a Loot Crate exclusive Street Fighter. Well, it's a comic book. Exclusive Street Fighter Loot Crate comic book. And they call it uh, Hyper Looting. Not hyper fighting, but they're looting. Please tell me they're throwing crates at each other, because that'd be so funny. But I don't know. I I, I haven't. I can't tell. I still like all the exclusive uh, crates I've received in the past. Uh, I actually have still left them in there wrapping like this. So I'm probably gonna do the same with this one, just to see if it's you know, hell, it might be worth something down the way. Who knows? But anyways, uh, that is that. What's next now is to turn this box into a platform of some sort and it requires making a stage and we're gonna have to use tape and everything so bear with me I'm gonna have this built and we'll come back alright so unfortunately I couldn't fully create it it was the instructions they gave literally made no sense and the box literally falls apart before you can even tape it together or hold it up they want you to kind of sit this thing up like this so that this front piece is going but in order to do that you have to have a bit of a pedestal going and I'm assuming you kind of put this down like this like this one flap here you put the two flaps in the back like this so that they kind of support it like that but they just fall it's just a nightmare so I'm not gonna bother uh, I'm just gonna kind of keep it as is so anyway um, I'm gonna kind of pop these guys kind of where they would be and this fish is dying on the side of the road. Uh, clearly there's a gift of geek involved here. There's a Mockingjay flying. Oh no! Oh god, it just got shot down. Oh no! Peter's calling. It's all Shredder's fault, you can see it. This is Shredder's parking garage. <laughs> and of course the comic and the books and everything, so... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this month's Loot Crate. Uh, you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this crate. Uh, personally, I feel like the loot crates are getting smaller and smaller every month. I mean, this one was pretty small. The only thing that I really liked in it was uh, the vault, the bobblehead. Um, the rest of it, I don't know what it, what's going on with loot crate. Like the last three or four, they've really been cutting back and they've been charging more to get to actually get shirts and socks and whatever in the crates. So uh, they become a little commercialized, but nonetheless. I'm here to showcase them for you guys in case you really do want to go ahead with this one. If you do and you're still new to Loot Crate and you know, uh, after all these months of watching or you're new to this channel or whatever the case would be and you don't know what a Loot Crate is, click the link in the description you can go check it out for yourself. Um, you, can, you can subscribe based on what you want to do. You can do a one month, two month, three month, so on and so forth, uh, depending what you know what you really want to spend, you know, what you want to go for. Um, Obviously, there's many options, so pick which one's best for you. And if you do decide to get a subscription of any kind at checkout, be sure to use the code TEAM8000. That is also in the description. It'll save you a few bucks. I believe it's 10% off the order, so be sure to do that. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know why I haven't put this on yet, or to showcase Shredder, as we go out with a bang, because it kind of falls off my face. Because I already wear glasses. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Favorite it as well. And, of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys. Can't really do the, the glass tip with these, can we? In the next one. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild. Don't use violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute. Hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us. They gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night in bed is get like savored. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is knock? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do. So tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.